All right, Algebra 1, moving on to 5, 6, parallel and perpendicular lines. We have an essential question, how to use slope to find the relationship between two lines. Okay, let's start out talking about parallel lines. We know that those are two lines that never intersect, it's like railroad tracks. The thing about parallel lines is they have the same slope. Parallel lines have the same slope. So if I gave you this equation here, y equals 2x plus 3, and y equals 2x minus 2, y equals mx plus b, we know that that's our slope right there. So it's 2 for both of them. And you can see when I graph them that they're parallel. Okay, y-intercept is negative 2, slope is 2, up 2 over 1. y-intercept is 3, slope is 2, up 2 over 1. You can see they're parallel. The symbol for parallel is two slanted lines like that. Okay, so if I want to say two lines are parallel, like m is parallel to n, it would look like that. Okay. Find the equation of a line. To find the equation of a line uh, that passes through, let's say, a point negative 3, negative 1, and is parallel to another line, how do you find that equation? Okay. Um, I've got a line. I've got a point here. I want these two lines to be parallel. Okay. So if you can imagine that, we know that they're going to have the same slope. That's our starting point. Okay. We know the point we want to go through. That's our x, y point. And, and in chapter 2 or 3, I forget which one it was now, when we were uh, writing equations in y equals mx plus b form, that was last chapter, uh, you just plug it into the formula here, y equals mx plus b. So I put the 2 in for the m, I put my x and my y in, and I solve for b. So 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Add it over, I get 5 for my b. So I rewrite it with my slope of 2 because they're parallel, got the same slope. This line will pass through, b is 5, so y equals 2x plus 5. All right. So parallel lines have the same slope. So if they give you one equation and they want to know parallel, you know they have the same slope. And just take the point it's going through for x, y and plug it in. Okay, find your b, rewrite your equation. What about perpendicular? This is a little different here now, okay, because perpendicular lines are like this. Okay, they cross like an intersection. The slopes of two lines are negative reciprocals if they're perpendicular. Okay, what that another way of looking at it is is that their slopes have have a product of negative one. Product means to multiply. If I know the slope of two lines, I can multiply them together. If I get negative one, then they're perpendicular. This is the the uh, symbol for perpendicular. The other thing we're looking at negative reciprocals. Notice here. You've got negative 2 over, which would be 1 if we wrote it like a fraction, and negative. If you took the negative of that and reciprocal it, flip it, the negative of that would become a positive 2. You reciprocal, you flip it, you get 1 half. They're equal. If you flip that, reciprocal, and negative reciprocal made it negative 2, then they'd be equal. So if you take one slope, you multiply it by negative 1 and flip it, you get the other slope, they're perpendicular or you can just multiply them and get negative one. Either way, that shows that two, slope, two lines are perpendicular. Well, what if we want to find the equation of a line perpendicular to another line going through a certain point? Well, same kind of deal. We're finding the slope first. Not as easy here. This slope is one-third, so at least you've got to flip it and change the sign. So the reciprocal of one-third is three. Negative reciprocal make it negative three. If that was a negative one-third, that'd be a positive three. Okay, so and I know my point, my x, y point is 2, 4, y equals mx plus b, I plugged in my m, my x, and my y, negative 6, add it over, b is 10, there's the equation of the line. Notice, negative reciprocals and the slope, okay, so those two lines would be perpendicular. Another sample question that you'll see in this section is uh, where they give you two equations and they ask you, are the lines parallel, perpendicular, or neither, okay? It all depends on the slope. We've been talking about slope with parallel and perpendicular. So I'm going to get this into the y equals by dividing the 4 out. So I look here, my slope is negative 5 fourths. Here I'm in the y equals mx plus b form. I can just grab my slope as 4 fifths. Are they negative reciprocals? Can I multiply them together and get negative 1? Yep. Then the lines are parallel. If the slopes are equal, or they're perpendicular. If the slopes are equal, they're parallel. If the slopes are not equal, you can multiply them and see if you get negative 1. Check to see if they're negative reciprocals. If they are, they're perpendicular. But if they're not, 
so they're not equal, they don't give you negative 1, they're not negative reciprocals, then the answer would be neither. Okay? So parallel, same slope, negative reciprocal, different. Okay? So that's parallel and perpendicular lines. In class, we'll look at some uh, examples and some application of this. Uh, we'll get after that tomorrow. All right, see you then. Bye.